Hey guys, in the last video we upgraded our wind turbine from 24 volt up to 48 by changing the control unit. Now we haven't had a whole lot of wind since then, but we did have just enough to do some testing and well, here's how it went. So as you've just seen, in a roughly five to 10 mile an hour wind, the turbine didn't even get close to reaching the required charging threshold at 48 volts. But all is not lost. There are two solutions to this problem. The first one is to fit a voltage amplifier to the control unit. These cost about 25 quid. And what they do is they'll step up the voltage from 24 up to 48. The only drawback is that it's difficult to incorporate them into the automatic braking system. The second option is to mechanically modify the wind turbine by fitting some sort of a gearing system. And how that would work is that the propeller would be installed on a separate shaft with a gear fitted, another gear would be fitted to the generator. The idea being that for every one turn the propeller does, the generator would do two. This would be the preferred option as it would dramatically improve the turbine's performance without interfering with the automatic braking system. The build would have to be small and compact however, and strong enough to handle adverse weather conditions. In general, Istabreeze turbines are one of the best on the market, and unlike a lot of the other crap out there, the Istabreeze will actually get pretty close to their claimed ratings. Unfortunately though, the Little I-1500 just isn't capable of keeping up with a system of this size. So there you have it guys, upgrading the wind turbine by changing the control unit has been a bit of a fail. But we're going to explore both of those modification options, and it'll definitely be interesting when the time comes. In the meantime, we have some important information about a major problem with these inverters, particularly the older models like this one, that a software update can't fix. Now when the rest of the parts for our new section here arrives, I'll be able to demonstrate that fault to you, get you all the information and show you how we're fixing it. So there it is folks, just a quick update for today, apologies for the short video, but I wanted to get that information out to you before anyone goes wasting their money based on the last video. So hope you found it interesting, hope you found it useful. Do take care of yourselves out there, and I'll see you in the next one.